Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful and spectacular city of Stuttgart here in Germany. What you're looking at behind me is the world famous Mercedes Benz Museum. It was opened up in 2006 and millions of tourists have visited this spectacular museum. In this particular documentary, we're going to go around and videotape all the sections of this museum. Come on, let's go for a tour. You will really enjoy this spectacular place here in Germany. Let's do it. I am now on the sixth floor here at the museum. And in this particular section, we're going to see cars developed between the beginning of the First World War, 1914 and the end of the Second World War, 1945. Let's go for a walk. Now you're looking at one of the most easily recognizable and most famous cars of that era, the 1930 Mercedes-Benz Type SS. SS stands for Super Sport. At the time this car was produced was uh, winning all the car races it could develop speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour six cylinders about 7,000 cubic centimeters of displacement this is an absolute beauty it was produced between 1928 and 1933 and incredibly enough, it could produce 200 horsepower of output. Let's walk around and admire this beauty. It was used both as a sports car for races and also for as a passenger car as well. As, as I said to you, six cylinders. You can see the exhaust pipes of the three cylinders on one side. You can literally stand here and watch this car for quite a few minutes and try to take it all in. Right there, absolutely magnificent. Now, if you lived in the 1930s and you were fortunate enough to be rich, powerful, famous, this is the car that you will be driving most likely. This is the 1936 Mercedes-Benz 500K, eight cylinders, 5,000 cubic centimeters of displacement and speeds up to 160 kilometers per hour with 160 horsepower output by far one of the most beautiful elegant and fascinating cars here at the museum this one is painted in beautiful bright red and this is another car where you would stop for a few minutes and try to take it all in and admire its design and beauty. And uh, here is a car that you may be familiar with from older movies. This is the 1938 Mercedes-Benz Pullman Limousine one of the very first diesel engine passenger cars developed by Mercedes-Benz. These cars were produced between 1936 and 1940. Two and a half thousand cubic centimeters of displacement, 45 horsepower of output, and it could develop speeds up to 95 kilometers per hour. This particular one was produced in 1938 and it is in perfect condition. 
Just look at it. And uh, here is one of the most successful passenger cars of the 1930s, produced by Mercedes-Benz. This is the Mercedes-Benz 540K, the Cabriolet B style, developing speeds up to 170 kilometers per hour, eight cylinders, five and a half thousand cubic centimeters of displacement. And once again, if you see any movies from that era. You will see either that car that we just saw or this one here. Now, if there is a car, a Mercedes car, that gets associated very closely with the Nazi regime, the National Socialist regime here in Germany between 1933 and 1938 is this car. This is the Mercedes-Benz 770 Open Tourer. This is the car that was used by the officials of the Nazis, industrialists, heads of government, kings and so on. It has an eight cylinder engine, seven and a half thousand cubic centimeters of displacement. 160 kilometers per hour top speed and it could develop an output of 160 horsepower so if you see any movies from that era this is the car that you see and uh, here is the very first passenger supercharged car produced by Mercedes-Benz in 1923. This particular car was produced between 1922 and 1924 and it could develop speeds up to 110 kilometers per hour. That's incredible. Just think this is 1923. Four cylinders, two and a half thousand cubic centimeters of displacement with a 40 horsepower output. Now along with uh, passenger cars, the cars that you just saw, Mercedes-Benz was uh, very busy developing light-duty trucks. This is the first one developed with a diesel engine in 1932. This is the Mercedes-Benz LO 2000 model. Between 1932 and 1940 they produced about 15,000 of these. It had a four-cylinder engine, 55 horsepower output, developed speeds up to 65 kilometers per hour and it could carry a rather heavy payload of about 2,000 kilograms or two tons. And uh, we're going to conclude our tour of the sixth floor here at the spectacular Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart by looking at the 1928 Mercedes-Benz SSK model. This was a racer type car developing speeds up to 192 kilometers per hour, eight cylinders, 7,000 cubic centimeters of displacement. And as you're looking at this car, imagine being the driver here participating in a race keep in mind this is 1928 and this car won many many car races in its time <laughs> 